Raiders 24-7 back here again with another epic Beyblade battle for you here on Beyblades 24-7. For these much awaited for, much anticipated battle, we have the two newest of the Takara Tommy Beyblades. First up, the ever so elusive, never stop spinning stamina type, BB113, Scythe Kronos! Scythe Kronos sports a T for Tornado 125 spin track and an EDS Eternal Defense Sharp performance tip. And his opponent, the newest of the new when it comes to the Beyblades from Takara Tomy, it's BB114, defensive type that can spin left or right, Vera Ares! Vera Ares sports Delta Drive with interchangeable performance tips. He'll be used with the F flat tip, the attack type tip. This will be a best of five battle, as always. And regardless of outcome, we will go all five rounds for maximum epicness. Being the stamina type that he is, Scythe Kronos will be launched first in all five rounds. And both bays will be launched using the LR Strin Launcher on our beefed up three segment launcher grip. So, let's get this battle underway, shall we? With Scythe Kronos in three, two, one. Go shoot! Go shoot! Sorry about that. Gotta get that bad launch out of the way right away. All right, try that again. Three, two, one. Go shoot! Vera Ellis. Go shoot! Got some hard clash here right away. I'm trying to launch the Vera Ellis at a slight angle so he doesn't just circle him the whole time like he kind of is at the moment. Still making some light contact though. Trying to wear down Scythe Kronos, but I don't think it'll be enough. Contact a little more severe now. Vera Ares getting off kilter there. Scythe Kronos still looks very strong. And down goes Vera Ares. Scythe Kronos goes up one to nothing. Round two. Scythe Kronos. Three, two, one. Go shoot. Vera Ares. Go shoot! Perhaps too much of an angle on that launch. Let's see how it works out here though. Oh, and Scythe Kronos removes Vela Ellis from the stadium with great force. Despite being a stamina type, he can still pack a wallop. Scythe Kronos goes up two to nothing. Round number three! Scythe Kronos in three, two, one. Go shoot! Go shot! Got a hop, skip, and a jump there. Look like it kind of jumped over one another. Vera Ares begins to circle his prey. I have tested with these a little bit before this battle. Vera Ares fared better than he is so far. Let's see if he can get a victory here. I have seen him take Scythe Colonel out of the stadium multiple times. But without a prevail here, Scythe Kronos goes up three to nothing. Unofficially, he is already our winner, being the best of five. But as I said, we will still do all five battles for maximum epicness. So round four. Three, two, one. Go shoot. Too much power. Go shoot. That is. Go shoot. Both phase getting some hard hits there, bouncing off the walls. And down goes Vera Ares again. Can he get any victories here? I think when I tested before this, after I unboxed him, it was like 2-2 two -two or something. They seemed pretty even. Let's see what happens. 3-2-1. Go shoot. Vera Ares. Go shoot. The circling launch I've been trying to avoid. Let's see what happens. Susie gets back to the contact. Some light glancing blows there. There's some harder hits now. Does Vera Ares have enough? I don't think he does. No, he does not. Vera Ares goes down again. Scythe Kronos 
in very impressive fashion, destroys and embarrasses Veraeris with a five to nothing victory. If you have not already done so, make sure you hit that subscribe button. You're gonna get email for our future epic battles and unboxing videos. Feel free to send us your friend requests. We accept them all and give us a big thumbs up for our latest epic battle here on Beyblades 24-7. I thank you for watching and I'll see you next video as Scythe Kronos spins on.